This episode's called Welf Crozo, the blacksmith, which makes sense because that was the person who made his armor that he bought at the store that Ina took him to, but his armor's destroyed. So if we need some new armor, we're going to go see the one, I don't know, this person. I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Dapper Darius back at it again with episode nine of uh, Don Machi. This one's called, like I said, Welf Crozo, the blacksmith. Last episode, chef's kiss so fantastic s rank bell i'm excited to find out what people think of him now because we are just it's literally just been only uphill like i've been so happy for bell these last few episodes you know with whole lily ruka hestia still bestia we're just have good relationships with everyone you know it's only getting better or we're only getting stronger it's crazy i'm just genuinely looking forward to what else happens Remember, guys, if you guys want full length and early access to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, you can check out, you can always check out that Patreon down below. It's always an option for you. If you want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help push me out there into the YouTube algorithm. You know how the algorithm works, guys. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. Let's hop into this. Um, <laughs> I almost forgot the name. Don Machi, episode nine. Let's do it. I'm a little out of it, guys. Oh, this is the guy from the opening. I have a couple of clues. Level two in a month and a half. Now with context, I know people could take years to get upgrade levels, so that's insane. That is insane. He's level two already. And he has that horn, which is so cool. Said nothing feels different. This power, it's overwhelming. <laughs> uh, your second skill, I mean, your first, yeah. One of those, one of those, the first one you wanted, yeah. She crossed off the other one. But I like how it's called Argonaut. Hmm. Good, good. I love that outfit she wears. Another godly meeting. A title. Eyes is the sword princess. I wonder what Bell's gonna get. Okay. That's some good context. Wow. It would definitely be, especially if she's hiding, if no one knows. Not gonna try to pronounce that. I heard that's a god in the Japanese culture. Thank you for someone who commented that. But uh, as all the other gods, especially with Sword Princess being referred to as somebody so special that it's insane to find somebody like her with her leveling up in a year, it would definitely be the talk of the town that he did it in a month and a half, especially because she's hiding his ability. If they all knew the ability he had, now, of course he could level up so quick, but that would make maybe not help him level up as quick so she's hiding it obviously she doesn't want the other familias to know about him or to not know but but to like to take him try to manipulate him so it makes sense but it's crazy it's kind of hard to hide if you're honest with you you know fire blizzard tornado typhoon what's that supposed to resemble like neon genesis <laughs> that was funny Normal, like, thank you, Ryu, Seer, on the house. Appreciate you. The middle levels now that we're level two. Okay, what's up? I mean, yeah, there's got to be a reason. Yep, counter rate. That's such a video game. Touche. This, that's where like that's where like a party is involved. The middle, which another. I I said last episode. I can't relate it to too many video games that I've played because I haven't played too many dungeon games. But another something I can relate it to is Made in Abyss, a dungeon 
style esque anime. No spoilers, obviously, but there's something along the same veins where it's like one level is something, but a whole level is like a really a different ball game. And there's multiple levels, you know. So it's like I I kind of with contextual oversight, I kind of get what they're saying. Like I, I would just avoid that because they're a completely different ball game. Thirteen, fourteen might not sound like a lot because it's one level, but it's a different like. Like it's a different world. Like this and up is a world. This and down is a world. You know. Like I get it. I get it. Yep. Nope. Sorry, we're okay by ourselves. Nah, you're being some pricks, sleaze balls. Look at Ryu being not only hot but fucking awesome and hot. When I said she was strong last episode, she was. Mama Mia said enough of this shit. <laughs> That'd be me. With the food. Hell yeah. Ladies can take care of themselves. Hell yeah. We're back at the Bobel. The Bobble. This is him. He's look. Is this him? He's like, oh, matter of fact. Okay. This guy, I can tell by his attitude, I'm gonna like him. He's like that outgoing, loud, funny, rambunctious type. I didn't know the guy would be Wealth Crows with the guy in the opening. That's really cool. Why? Okay. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
That was Argonaut? The possibility to overcome any difficulty? What? I mean, that makes sense for the Argonaut story they said last episode, a kid who wanted to be a hero, but... What does that entail? Give me the details. Is it like a spirit bomb? So it's a one-shot kill, no matter what. Mm-hmm. What'd you hear? Oh, that's cool. Definitely hiding something. This is our blacksmith workshop. Little do you guys know, one of my low-key things I've always wanted to learn how to do is blacksmithing. I don't think I'll ever learn how to do it, but there are classes in Seattle that I could do. That'd be awesome, you know? He knows a lot. That would be dope. Yeah, to, Oh, that's just like a video game. You use this resource you got from this boss to upgrade or get a new piece of armor. Oh, it's so perfect and fitting. Yeah, so that's why he doesn't like magic items. If there's any weapon like that, it's gonna be his knife, you know? The Hestia knife. It's good reasoning, though. I mean, from a blacksmithing's perspective, and as one who's been known for a, a lineage of famous blacksmiths, you know, I, I completely get where he's coming from. A minotaur horn dagger, though, that looks sick. It's without a doubt the best thing I've ever made. Ushiwakamaru. Ushiwakamaru. It's a long name. That's how a buddy would say it. That was a good episode. That was a good introduction to wealth. I like that. I like that. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, we got a squad, even though we're not from the same familia, which only makes me wonder, can we change familias? Because I know Lily doesn't like hers. The Soma family, that's completely fucking interesting by themselves. But I don't, maybe that's not necessarily such a big deal, you know, like just maybe it is a big deal. So we could just stay separate familias and just be buddies the entire time. I don't really see that being too big of a deal. But uh, I am glad that this seems like our little solidified party. And I genuinely like Welf. Um, I like his story coming from the blacksmiths. I want to know more about the family, the Crozo name, and how they lost all their power suddenly. But he's very talented. I just want to know more details. I really like his reasoning for why he wouldn't like magic items. He wants, you know, there to be a happy balance in a relationship between the welder, the weldy, and the welded. You know, that sounded actually pretty cool. The welder, the weldy, and the welded. I'm pretty fucking cool. But uh, this was a fantastic episode. I think I'm going to edit this and hop into the next one. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. On to the next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to check out the Patreon. Peace out, you guys.